Hi everybody, welcome back to Press On Mobile Coffee. I'm Rachel, for those of you who don't know. Um, we got a special request to make a video about our plumbing system. And so my husband did film that, but he's sick this week. So here I am to present it to you. Enjoy. Okay, so I'll start with the uh, fresh water system. Uh, this big clear hose here, this connects to the fill dish on outside of the trailer. This is just gravity fed right into the fresh water tank. The little skinny clear hose you see here that runs right alongside it, that's a vent hose. It's just for venting because it's a, a pressurized tank. This blue PEX, this is half inch PEX back here. Uh, this is how you can directly connect your water hose. Have water coming in, it's running in here, and then it elbows up right here, and then here's a T. So now we're at the water pump area. So this water pump, first and foremost, this clear hose comes from the fresh water tank. So that water pump pumps water from here right into the water pump, goes through this little filter system that's included with your water pump. And this runs over, I have a valve here that I can shut this off easy if I need to, in case I need to do some repairs here and there. You can put these wherever you want. These two gold valves you see here, these are called check valves. So this one here, um, they have arrows on them. This one's pointing up, this one's pointing that way. What this does is if you're using the water connected to like a city connection or to your home directly, the water cannot actually come back into the water pump and um, ruin your water pump. So it's only a one-way valve. It can go this way, but it can't go that way. This one, uh, water when it's coming out of the water pump. So when you're running this from the small tube here, not using the blue city feed, water won't back up into the city feed line either and ruin something there. So now this PEX here, which tees up, this runs up to here. Now we got this T right here. So this T continues this way. This runs over and connects to the braided hose on my espresso machine. I do have it hooked up to a filter normally, but I had to um, replace my water filter. But yeah, so this runs over, goes directly into this braided hose, which then runs to the espresso machine. The other way here, this continues on, and this is gonna run throughout your um, whole trailer if you're gonna have sinks and whatnot. So right here, I have another T right here. This comes over into this pitcher rinse sink, which is this guy right there. And then it also continues on, got an elbow back here, so you can see. So it just runs throughout here. This is gonna go over to my hand wash sink and my triple sink. So when you get to the hand wash sink, it tees up for the cold water and continues on. Tees up for the cold water for my triple sink here. See that there? And then it actually continues on once more past those triple sinks all the way over, elbows down into my hot water heater, which is a propane on demand. So what I did is I connected that PEX fitting right there to this braided hose, which then connects to the little on-demand hot water heater. That other hose, which is this one right here, that's the hot water that comes out. And that runs over into the red PEX, which then goes straight up right there. And then just elbows over to another T for my hot water for the triple sink, continues on, and then hot water for my hand sink. And that's all I need the hot water for is just my sinks. If you are doing propane uh, for any kind of plumbing or for your espresso machine, that black hose right there, that's the propane line. I just have like a 10 foot propane line, it's black, it runs all along the side of the trailer under my cabinets, and then comes across here. I still need to permanently mount it, but it goes into a T here. And the reason for that is this black one continues on down the floor of the trailer. And then right out there is the front of my trailer. My propane tank is mounted on the tongue of the trailer. So it connects directly into that. Just goes to this guy right here. 
and this just screws on to your propane tank. And then this appliance hose here runs up underneath the cabinet into my espresso machine there. Okay, so for my drain lines that go to the gray water tank, which is back here, this is just an open two inch uh, black drain pipe. First thing that drains into it is right here. The clear hose coming from my espresso machine comes right down through the countertop and then just sits right inside there to the very bottom. It's actually, that's how it's supposed to, do, um, these are supposed to be uh, connected is just set inside the pipe. So uh, this black pipe continues on behind my fridge, under my counters here and goes all the way back, elbows over right into the top of my gray tank so it can empty into here. This gray tank um, has an empty out valve underneath the trailer. So that's how you drain it. And as for other things, draining into the black pipe from my pitcher and sink of this clear little drain tube there, it runs into that braided hose right there, which then runs over to here. And each one of these little P-traps for my hand sink and each one on my triple sink, as you can see, is connected with this three quarter inch braided hose and they all just kind of tee off of one another wrap around this big three quarter inch hose Let's move this out of the way and goes right into this is actually like a dishwasher fitting pipe where your dishwasher would normally drain it but it worked perfect for this so it drains directly into here which of course goes down into the gray water tank as for this skinny little tube here this is also just a vent tube for your gray tank um, and then there's one extra fitting that i don't actually need so that's just capped off but these um, gray water and fresh water tanks come uh, pre-fitted for whatever sizes you need you just select it on the website um, so for me for this one i used i think it's the two inch uh, fitting for both and then this is a half two half inch fittings but again i didn't use that one that's back there as for my fresh water I did, this is an inch and a half fill, so it can fill faster. A half inch uh, vent for the clear little one. And this one's half inch also for feeding into the water pump. And again, that's a um, two inch fitting here. Actually, I'm sorry, those are inch and a half. The pipe is two inches though. But this is how I drain my freshwater tank as well. This is the dump slash drain valve for my freshwater tank. You just pull this handle out here to open it up, but I also put this cap on it here too. They just screw on. So you unscrew this and then pull this to dump it. It is the exact same on the gray water tank in the rear of the trailer. I just chose a black one instead. All right, guys, that was it. So if you have more questions, please leave them down in the comments. We will answer them as we see them. And if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for the rest of your journey. As always, until next time, press on.